which shall go to the center line of the eaves body. The center line of the eaves body, we shall take the total perimeter of the fascia board, which is 33, 200. Then we shall find the center line of the eaves. If the eaves are extending by 300 on both the length and width, to go to the center line, we shall deduct at every corner uh, 300, 150, 150. How many corners do we have? Four. So 4 times 300, 1200. We shall deduct from 53, 200 to get the center line of the eaves. So we shall get 52,000. So that one will be the center line of the eaves. Then we shall multiply by the width of the eaves so that we can get the area for the TNG boarding to soffits of eaves. Because TNG boarding, we calculate it in terms of area. So we find the center line of the eaves. We multiply by the width of the Eaves to get the TNG boarding. So it shall be 52.00. Uh, then we multiply by 0 0.30, 75 by 20 millimeters TNG boarding to soffits of eaves. And three coats of gloss paint on GS timber, 100 to 200 millimeters gar externally. Go to the bearers. The bearers are those uh, frames that lie on the wall. So we shall calculate the perimeter uh, on which the bearers will lie. The bearers will lie on the external wall. So we shall find the length of the external wall and the width of the external wall. So 19,000 was the internal plus the walls 200, 200, 400. So the total length will be 19,400. For the width is 5,600 plus 200, 200, 6,000. So the perimeter of the house where the bearers shall lie on the external wall will be Perimeter is equal to 2 into bracket length plus wind. 2 into bracket 19,400 plus 6,000. It shall give us 5,800. How many joints will the bearers have? We shall take the total length. We divide by 6 meters. Assuming every frame is 6 meters long. So 5,800 divided by 6 meters minus 1. We shall get 7.5. Say 8 joints. Now to recording it in the take of sheet. So it shall be 50.8, 50 by 50 millimeters bearers plugged to wall and prime back on frame 0 to 100 millimeters guard. We shall find the number of scarfed joints on the bearers. We have found them and we shall record their 8. We go to the runners. The runners usually run on the eaves. So we want to know uh, how many runners will we have. We shall take the total length of the bearers. Then we divide by the spacing of the runners, which is 600 minus 1. So we shall get 84.7, say 85. We shall record we have 85 runners whose width is 0 0.30 because it's usually equal to that of the eaves, 50 by 50 millimeters. Runners. Now we shall go to the rainwater goods.